Hello everyone, my name is PewPewChuChu, Choo Choo. today we're going to uh, take a break from a few uh, strategy games and play a little indie RPG I found called Under Rail. Um, so without further ado, let's get on started. Now this game, it's a uh, isometric turn-based RPG and it takes inspiration from um, the Fallout like 1 and 2 titles, so I think it'll be uh, kind of cool. And it has a, whole, a list of like skill things and it also has like mind control and stuff like that. And also uh, the perk system from the Fallout games, so I figured that'd be uh, kind of cool to just uh, play around with today. So without uh, further ado, let's build our character. Um, in these games, I always like to go with a fairly stealthy character. Uh, uh, go with like quite a lot of agility for the movement bonus and quite a lot of other skills simply for the uh, charisma and stuff like that. So um, we're going to be playing as a kind of like a gunman person. Let's put five into melee and five into grenades, uh, just to kind of buffer things out. Let's put a lot of defense, seeing as how we uh, we didn't have a lot of points and in health or like constitution and all of that good stuff. So um, I'm not necessarily sure about the uh, the storyline inside this game. I think it, it, it goes along with the uh, whole uh, post-apocalyptic uh, theme of the Fallout games. I mean, does that? And it kind of reminds me of a uh, Metro 20. 33 I believe, that's, if that's the name, you start off inside a, uh, a dinky little dilapidated uh, station that's uh, manned by people and you just kind of work your way up through the story like that. Now, I haven't necessarily played a lot of this. Oh, you know? well, this is kind of cool. We're, we already unlocked one of the uh, bonus stats right here called Sprint, so we're going to get that. Uh, simply because I, I just naturally assume that it's better than those ones up here. And we're also going to get aim shots. So one for damage, one for movement. That'll help us a lot in direct combat. And let's get on started. Now the uh, the dialogue inside this game is presented inside these uh, little chat boxes. So um, if you're free to read along. I'm probably going to like read out the uh, important ones. So uh, let's go with that. And like I said, um, this initial little conversation here is about uh, the leaders of one particular uh, settlement, one particular station inside this uh, cave or under rail network. And uh, we start off as a new citizen to this place, you know, where, where we were alive and kicking, we just uh, found a new place to rest, uh, or rather inhabit, and then afterwards, it looks like an earthquake happened. Now we are finally going into the game. Alright, so this is us. Looks like we get a nice little room here. Oh, what's, what's this? Yes. We can also turn on the lights and stuff. I love it when the developers put neato things like that and where it's just... It's kind of out of the way, but it is definitely fun to play with, uh, just with the amount of stuff on the map. like. I think, yeah, you can also like look at the pictures on the wall, stuff like that, which is rather uh, cool. First and foremost, let's grab this key card out of our desk, check up our mail. Uh, we have two new PMs. Card from Wayne. You have a key card. If you haven't found it, you should check your desk. Congratulations, you have obtained full citizenship at our little outpost. That is nice. I think I already checked that uh, shelf. Now, normally inside these games, I'm I'm like a kleptomatic. I just like take everything that's not bolted down to the floor. So uh, when I go into somewhere new and I know that there are goods somewhere, I I will, I will just be doing that constantly, just ripping stuff off, uh, even if it is bolted down to the floor. There we go. So now we have some armor, and um, let's check our quests. So, notes. Talk to Counselor Tanner inside his temporary office in the Commons level, uh, level 3. I think all of these are just, like, housing, uh, rooms. If the mouse icon is red, I can't actually open these, so I, I don't really know. I think I just got to go there. Uh, let's go to Commons and Cantina right now. There we go. Much better. Now at least there's some lighting. Anything right here? I don't think there's a sprint command though, like uh, an out of combat run things, which is uh, a little bit 
on. I think this is Tanner. Yep. Let's talk to uh, Tanner. He notices us. He congratulates us upon uh, joining our their colony, their little settlement. And uh, now he is uh, offering us a welcoming party as well as a job. Well, uh, let's skip that welcoming party. And let's uh, let's get on start of the mission. So, looks like uh, we are being sent to fix some stuff caused by that earthquake earlier to the station. Um, not much damage, but we have to uh, go outside and do some field work. First and foremost, we're, we'll be uh, getting our weapons, so let's do that right away. Gain some nice experience uh, right now. And let's see all the nice people inside the canteen. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people here. You can talk to them, you can buy some food from like the, uh, the vendor persons. Let's actually do that. Ooh, and we already have some dialogue choices. Let's try to use this. Ah, I thought she was like some sort of vendor, but I guess not. And I see this person, Jack Cook Silver. Um, let's ask him more. Where is he? He seems like a fairly weird person with a gas mask and ginger hair, so uh, let's see what he does. He travels a lot, he spends most of his time inside the hub. Um, he has some goods for us, let's see what he has. Now this is kind of a cool trade setup. Um, let's see, he has a few weapons. Holy hell, things are expensive in this. We started off with 300 credits and everything Literally everything is over that, although that Omni tool does look nice. We'll have to get back to them later on. Maybe once we finish this mission, we'll be able to get some money and uh, go from there. So let's go to this elevator. Actually, nowhere for now. Let's check our notes and see what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go to the medical level and the uh, shooting range. So let's, uh, let's get that one first. Let's go to the armory. into this dark, dilapidated second floor where we find Gorski over here, which is the uh, the military person. So let's see what he's doing. Alright, there we go, but we still need a gun. So we've talked to him about using the training range. Uh, what is this? This is the thing that I wanted to ask. Talk to Gorski and have a practice set uh, session. Alright, well that's all uh, fine and dandy, that should all be set up, but we still need a weapon for ourselves. We need a gun to uh, actually begin that combat thing, so... Looks like he's not going to give us a weapon. Um, where can we get a weapon? I think we have to talk to Lucas over here uh, inside the armory. Hello PPCC. Here you'll be staying with us for quite a while, for a while at least. Um, well, make yourself at home. Can I have my gun back? Yes. So now we have uh, we got our gun back, and now we can actually trade him. Let's see what he has. Some blueprints, some ammunition. What type of ammunition do we use? Five millimeter bullets. Does he have any more of those? It's always nice to have some more bullets. Yes, yes, we do. 
but his uh, his ammunition is actually quite expensive, so I think I'm going to forego uh, buying any of that for now at least. So arm ourselves with your gun, and the reload system inside this game is rather odd. You you do have like multiple types of ammunition, but the way you load them is just strange. You have to hold down the shift key, and then it just comes up like that. And I think we're supposed to hit it like five times, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, I don't want this health interface. Score ten hits. Ten shots out of ten. Close that thing. Leave. There we go. And we should probably reload our gun while we're here. And I'm not really sure if you can like holster your weapon in this. So we won't really worry about it. Next up, we have to deal with uh, the medical exam. Prostate exam, as I call it. Inside our notes here on the medical level. Um, now at this point of the game, you can like, choose to play with uh, psionics on or off, I believe. Like So if we go through this and... Um, yeah, this person, Pascal, will also tell us that we have a high psychonic uh, uh, potential, so we can go and um, we can actually go and enable this by like taking this uh, pill that she offers us and just going that route. Um, normally, I won't really play with those things on, but you can do uh, the XCOM like mind control and stuff like that, which is uh, rather handy dandy. So I think I will pass out and come back alive. Um, and now we gain a perk that will allow us to learn psionic skills. Which uh, there we go, psi empathy, empathy. So that'll be um, fairly helpful later on. Uh, now that that's done, let's start. Uh, let's go back to Tanner and talk to him, and uh, go back out. There we go. Back in here. There's no sprint command though. I don't know why. I'm just checking all the different abilities that we have here. Let's talk to no, no. Let's talk to Tanner. There we go. I'm done with target practice. Are you ready for your mission? Bring it. Down the tunnels below our station lies a series of outposts. They were built by another station long ago. I want you to retake these outposts and reactivate the generators in them. There are a total of five generators, but try to at least activate three. That's all we need to know. So let's go out into the world and into our first combat mission while these lazy bums stay inside here and do absolutely nothing. Go up here, come around, come around, come around, and we talk with Malcolm up here. Malcolm, I need you to open these doors right now. Pass this one's fucking card. He'll be like, okay. Thank you. Now we get to go out into the uh, to the world and see what exactly is out here. So I'm not actually sure which way is north. I think uh, if we just go by the direction of the uh, how the thing is set up, I think this way would be north, I suppose. And everything's all like nasty in here now, everything's all good. Oh, hey! Who are you? Oh, Jonas. Oh, it's young PPCC. I have to do some hunting. Uh, uh, let's see. I hear you're very knowledgeable and I could use some advice. Let's see. Can you tell me about those abandoned outposts? One is just north of here, and they stretch east to, and to the west. They were built by Omega Station, and they are some of the ruins now, since we put them out of business. Plenty of rat hounds there now. Um, he offers us a job. We, we need to find something for him. Um, so let's do that. Um, let's see. So that's, that's all we need to do. 
And let's check our notes again. So find Lord Jonas's watch in the caves north of Southgate Station. So, uh, whoops, wrong way. We'll have to go through this door right here. And I, I think this is the, the way we're supposed to go. Oh, message. As you, as you approach the passage, you hear faint squeaking sounds and red eyes blinking from the darkness. So, um, I'm gonna guess that this is yeah, this is where real combat begins. No, uh -oh, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to walk around them. And now we have to get pummeled by these uh, rat hounds for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Oh no, I can't actually save right here. We're a little low on health, so. Uh... Oh, thank God they missed us. Four health out of sixty-six. Okay, now if I'm. Uh... There we go. Yeah, now we have full health. Perfect. One away, one away, hit us for a few times, and then shoot him. Oh, that was actually a nice hit right there. So let's continue going um, over here. And I think this is actually the first of the, uh, the stations. So let's go in here and let's see what's up. We have found a trap door, that is uh, rather handy dandy. There's a switch here as well that does nothing, but, uh, unfortunately. We found a lock here. Anything else? A grenade. Ooh, that might be useful. Some bandages and some supercharged lithium cell. Huh. Those bandages will be uh, very handy though, that's for sure. For now, let's go back up. Shove it inside. Oh yes, perfect. Some more of these help, uh, help type nodes that are able to heal us up. Power switch here. But it automatically snaps back up. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, I see. This is uh, this is like a little hidden place. If you didn't discover this uh, passage, then we can't actually go there. I need to figure out uh, how to actually pick a lock right now because, like, we we have quite a lot of these like different abilities. Like, I can do stealth mode and stuff like that, but I I don't see how. Oh, we can actually sneak by these uh, animal things now. I'm actually gonna enable combat. Put a few shots into them because I want that nice uh, early game experience. That's always helpful. Hopefully we'll be able to level up by uh, the end of this video. There we go. So now um, we're actually fairly close to leveling up. That's very good. Um, but I really want to try this door. Like, can we go shift? How do we pick this door? How do we pick this door? Let's actually reload first before we try anything. Um, first, in chat. Ah, uh, well, I'll find that uh, later on off screen. For now, let's continue exploring this place and figure out uh, where the heck is everything. If I do shift, I believe, yeah, I'll be able to see everything uh, that is on the map. Now, if I do aim shot. Aim shots. Oh, that was a nice hit. 31 damage. I'm already liking the uh, the stealthy combo we have going on here. If I just stealth up, then um, stealth up, then use aim shot, then I'll be able to just kind of pick people off uh, or get that 
early like little bit of surprise against them. That's always nice. Uh oh, that's not very good. Let's flee to the uh, to the other map. Let's go back on. Ah, should have stayed and fought them. Looks like we're running low on health again, so we're going to choose up another one of these uh, health hype rooms. Can we use that aim shot? Yes, we can. Perfect. Can I use it like twice in a row though, is what I'm wondering. Nope, three, three turn cooldown, that's fine. I wonder if I leave right now and then I come back, seeing as how they're, he's gonna have to take this turn anyways. But it, yeah, now it refreshes. So now it goes away, now I can come back onto that map. He's gonna hit me anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And then we go fast and loker, aim shot. And then we can just finish that thing off like that. And really, we're, uh, we are really burning through these health, health items really fast. Choose up this, uh, bad aid. How do I use this? What key? Health must be. Oh, oh, that's why. Health must must be uh, over forty for it to be effective. So that might be a little bit of an issue. Um, I'll save up right here. And before we continue any further, let's take a look at the uh, the level up system. So we can put one point into our uh, various different attributes. I'm actually going to put that in the constitution just so that we have a little bit more of a buffer for that. So more into guns, a lot more into stealth because that is really helpful. Lockpicking will help out uh, quite a bit. A lot more into defense seeing as how we're still fairly fragile. Two points into all of this psychic uh, stuff because I know we're going to use that later on. And let's see, should we go with chemistry is what I'm wondering, chemistry or biology? I, I have a feeling biology and chemistry are two things that would be used to uh, make those help hypos, which would be uh, rather helpful. And we can grab another perk, which is rather nice. Tranquility, snooping, sure head, good pockets, recklessness, critical Attack cost. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Burglar. Burglar looks like a, like a good stat to have, so we're going to go with that. Did we finally get some more health? Let's put that stealth mode on once again, just so that we can kind of crawl around and uh, be hidden from enemies. Yeah, I don't want to fight those right now, I just want to find some more health goodies or something just to kind of uh, give us a little bit of a pick-me-up. Yeah, we're not going to be able to sneak around this, uh, this ramp. Oh, I really hope we can get both of these rats on in one turn. Because that rat is going to do some major damage to us.
Hopefully there's some help in here. Is this bolt trigger? It's not very useful for us. Let's go to this power generator. Flux controller missing. We need to find a flux controller now is what uh, I'm I guess we have Oh no! Yeah, that would be that's quite problematic. Well I'm going to leave it uh here. I'll see you guys next episode. Um, be sure to like the video and subscribe. When we get back, we will uh, go back to the base, heal up, then come back, find that controller, and finish this mission. Until then, 